Hello, I'm Andy Wilson and welcome to Large Format Printing with Press On. Let's have a look in the factory and see what we're doing today. Today we're going to be looking at the HP Latex R series printer. We're going to be printing some aluminium composite material, an exciting new product from Multipanel. Okay, so what's so exciting about an aluminium composite material, I hear you ask. This is a new product from uh, Multipanel, specifically designed for the HP Latex printer. As many of you will know, this machine has only really been in the industry uh, commercially for the last 18 months to two years and one of the um, things that we found during the early operation of the machine is many of the materials that we're using were designed for the UV printers. Uh, as the new latex technology is now gaining traction within the marketplace more and more of our material suppliers are doing products that are specifically designed for the HP latex flatbed machine. What's important to remember is that the, although the HP latex printers and, and many of the hybrid UV printers, they perform the same function but they use very different science. Um, the science of getting the ink to adhere to the panel with a UV printer, UV, UV printers predominantly use UV light to cure the ink. Uh, the latex printers use heat to cure the ink because they are water-based. This panel that we're looking at here from Multipanel has a coating specifically designed to take the latex ink. So the latex ink is very robust when it's adhering to this particular painted coating. We'll show you this panel going through the machine now. We're gonna be printing some uh, boards for a client who has a particular uh, interesting application and we'll be talking about how it works with their environmental policy. Another exciting feature of this new panel from Multipanel is our ability to be able to recycle it. So at end of life, these panels will be going back to the factory in Dover where the aluminium will be stripped from the panel and the polyethylene core will be rechipped and turned back into polyethylene cores for the next set of ACM panels. This is great because it means we've got a closed loop recycling option for our customers. The other great thing about these panels is, particularly this new coating that's been developed specifically for latex, we will not need to laminate these. They're robust enough without the laminate, so therefore we're not putting more PVC into the environmental chain. So, whereas previously we might have to use an environmentally unfriendly PVC laminate, these panels will be laminate free, which also makes recycling them a lot easier. Okay, as you can see, we've got the panel, pulled one of these panels off the router. Uh, one of the great things that we uh, found with printing latex ink direct to substrate, particularly on uh, materials that we're routing out, is the, the ink's so thin we can cut through the bleed. 
This isn't a great example of that because obviously the, the, the colour here is just a very light grey colour. But we can cut straight through the bleed and we don't get any chipping. One of the problems with printing with UV ink that we found was if we cut directly to the bleed, then you'd get a chipping of the ink on the outside here. Latex ink, you just don't get that. Another great feature of the latex ink is if you just run your finger over it, you can't even feel the inks there. So if we were to laminate this, for example, I don't know if we were to put a, uh, an anti-graffiti laminate or something over the top of this, you wouldn't get those rises that you often see in the laminate and sometimes a white edge after you've finished it. So this is, as I say, a panel that's going to be recycled at end of life, so there are no PVC laminates going on this particular panel. So I think you'll agree, great result. Time to take your seat.